Hey friends, it is Isaac Hayes bringing you a brand new video and today I'm bringing you guys some more Call of Duty World War 2 tips and tricks. Today we're going to be going over how to stay alive longer in multiplayer, how to die less, all this stuff that means the exact same thing. So if you guys do enjoy this video and learn something new, please hit that like button, subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos. The reason I'm asking for likes before the video starts is because it makes you remember a lot of people just forget to like the video and it helps me rank in the search engine since I'm a smaller channel. But anyway, forget all that, let's get into the tips and tricks. So the first tip that I have for you is mini map awareness. This is something that a lot of players just casually overlook a lot of times when they're just trying to focus on the game and just focus on their surroundings and stuff like that. They're just looking straight at their screen and looking for opponents that way. But you really need to look at your mini map a lot more than you probably are if you're dying a lot because you can kind of see where your opponents are spawning. So you see yourself on the mini map, your teammates, and occasionally you'll see a red dot of your opponent shooting. All of that tells you where your opponent is going to be spawning most of the time because if your teammates are over to the right on your mini map and you're sort of over to the right, your opponent is going to be spawning to the left and you can kind of just focus on your left a little bit more and then your right and you won't be dying from the back as much. The next tip that I have for you guys is to stay around the outskirts of the map. As soon as you respawn, you might want to just push middle map and try to get as many kills as fast as possible, but you gotta remember, slow and steady wins the race. If you run to the middle of the map, you're gonna be getting shot from multiple angles, sometimes you won't even see your opponents, but if you stay around the outskirts of the map, you might be able to flank easier and get kills from the back, you might be able to get easy sight lines on people who are pushing middle, and you can be one of the guys that are around the outskirts shooting at the people in the middle map, and it's just overall gonna help your gameplay because there's less chances for you to die from like crazy angles. Also, you should take mental notes on where you die the most. If you die in a certain specific spot on the map or if somebody is getting on these power positions and we're going to learn the power positions more the more we play the game because there's going to be popular head glitches that people go on that are super good to be on. You can control the map. Stay away from those. Don't challenge people on power positions and don't go to places that you die a lot because usually it's just a bad spot to be in the map. The next tip that I have for you guys in order to stay alive longer is to use your attachments and your perks to your benefit, to your advantage so you don't die and be seen around the map. Try to make a quiet, stealthy little division class and it's kind of complicated on how divisions work. I I'm still getting used to it so I might say like the wrong terms or something but say you have a submachine gun and you can attach your suppressor. Attach that suppressor if you're dying a lot and you can go on like crazy flanks and stuff and your opponent's not really going to know where you are. Just in general try to make your class or your division as quiet as possible or as stealthy as possible and you're going to notice that you're not dying as much. Another tip that could help you stay alive longer in World War 2 is using your score streaks and I'm not really familiar with the score streaks on this game just yet because I'm just now playing the beta just like a bunch of you guys but I'm sure they have something that's like a UAV so you can use like a UAV and that's just going to show you where they are on the minimap and that's going to improve your minimap awareness and that's going to help you not get killed from the back as much. Hopefully everything I'm saying so far is making sense so let's go over what we have. So we have minimap awareness you need to be looking at your minimap to see where your opponents are spawning stay around the outskirts of the map so you're not dying from a bunch of multiple angles and you're not getting killed from just crazy spots take mental notes of the bad areas of the map where you die a lot and don't challenge power positions unless you're like behind them or something and then use your class setup to your advantage put on a suppressor or just make a stealthy class whatever you can do and use your score streaks to your advantage use uavs counter uavs whatever they're called in this game i'm sure they have them just use your score streaks and your classes and everything to your advantage and if you're having trouble with minimap awareness one thing good thing to do would be putting on a uav and you would be able to kind of see where your opponents are and get used to the minimap a little bit more you know what i mean so but anyway that's pretty much all the tips that i have for you guys if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button it really does help smaller channels like me out because it helps me rank in the search engine so my video can reach more people subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos i'm doing a ton of tips and tricks for the world war 2 beta and just for world war 2 in general it's going to help you throughout the game like improving your accuracy improving your kd getting score streaks faster just all kinds of crazy stuff i'm going to be making so you don't want to miss it turn on notifications if you have to because we're going to be like triple uploading for real but thank you guys for watching if you have any questions at all let me know down in the comments let me know if you want to see a part two to this video because i'm sure i could come up with some more crucial tips in order to stay alive longer and i can totally make a part two in the future but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye